Hello, Wargamers, and welcome to a Learn to Play. I am Luca from MiniWarGaming.com, joined by Anthony from Battlefront Miniatures, as well as Gale Force 9. And today we are learning to play World of Tanks. Let's take a look at our platoon. So now, if you're unfamiliar, World of Tanks is a game where you construct a platoon of various tanks from relevant eras. In this case, we're playing Tier 4 to Tier 6, all World War II era tanks. I will be piloting a Panzer IV, as well as a Cromwell in my platoon. And I will have a T-34 and a Sherman tank. So the neat thing about World Tanks and Miniatures game, if you notice that we have tanks of different nationalities, so I have a Russian tank, an American tank, Oluka has a British and German tank. Um, and here, when you build your tank platoon, your force, you can actually take tanks from different nations. So if you want to have, for instance, a British, German, Russian, American tank all in one force, you can perfectly do that with the starter set. Um, and here, we basically just split them in half to do a little learn to play. Now, World of Tanks is a very arcade-style miniatures game here. As you can see, we're playing on a, a three-foot by three-foot battle mat here. Now, this battle mat here is an accessory that comes with some pre-built uh, terrain features on it. So you have uh, your wood outline. You can see the line there. Mm -hmm. The the houses in a very isometric view. Another wood over there, and then some you know like some stylistic uh, debris, uh, farm equipment, farm vehicles, yep. roads, and all that. And the other side is a same thing, sort of a blank, blank slated. Yep. So that way, because the, the box set itself comes with a lot of terrain. Here's a shot of some of the accessories. So you have your movement tool, your damage trackers, your dice, kind of all the accessories you need to play the game. And then two-sided uh, cardboard cut or cutouts from the uh, pop outs. So you got the woods and the hill, and then on that, and then we have the, the buildings on uh, both sides there with some uh, stone walls. So you can either, uh, this does not come in the demo box, but you can acquire this if you want from the same company or any of your 3x4 mats you have at home or 3x4 play areas, you can just set up the terrain that comes in the demo box. Uh, but for this mission, to keep it simple for this learn to play, we're going to play with the platoons of two, first of all, and uh, we're going to be playing just, they just kill each other, mm -hmm. essentially. Yep. Last tank standing Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Standard yeah. game roughly is about three to five tanks, so we're just going to do kind of an introductory battle, show people how you would play the game, and uh, go from there. Okay, some pretty basic deployments here. So we deploy uh, using initiative. So I have the, you start lowest to highest. Mm -hmm. We have initiative four on my Panzer. And then the Sherman and the T-34 both have initiative five. Mm -hmm. or, or six. Six, or sorry, six. six, they're next. And then the Cromwell, who's like the piece de resistance mm -hmm. in this game right now is uh, uh, initiative eight. Yep. So he's like, he gets to move last and shoot first. So he's like the most yep. powerful yep. piece on yep. the table yep. here. Yep. But then the Panzer IV mm -hmm. is kind of poo. So. Yep, so by moving, <laughs> so by moving last, um, so how this works is with movement, you always go from low to high. So the advantage of having a higher initiative that the Cromwell does, it can see where its opponents are located and either get out of the way to hide, to not be shot, or be in a more um, advantage position. Exactly. So, and then yeah, as you can see, we place walls down. Walls act as a, like a one-time use piece of cover. Uh, you can either use it to protect you against shots. If you shoot through it, it will get destroyed. If someone shoots through it at you, it'll get destroyed. If you can drive through it, it will mm -hmm. get destroyed. Yeah. Whereas the buildings will provide hard line of sight blocking. They cannot yep. be drove, driven through, nor can they be shot through. And woods can be seen through, but they will provide cover. Yep. Simple as that. And you can kind of see the outline yep. of the woods there. So that's the idea there. I deployed my T-34 behind the woods. I deployed my Cromwell kind of behind this building a little bit. And with that, protecting a shot against it as well. And then we'll be showing you the cards associated with the tanks. Uh, when relevant, pretty much like right away, I suppose. And then the way the there's battle rounds in the game. And we'll play until one one platoon is destroyed, and then it's just uh, you start with the lowest initiative has to move first. So to go in, in pretty much every round is going to go. T thirty four has to move, and no, then Anthony will Panzer choose. Four, yep. Sorry, yeah, sorry, the Panzer Four, my bad. And then Anthony will choose either the Panzer Four, no, I'm sorry, the T thirty four or the Sherman, and then I'll move the Cromwell, mm -hmm. and then we'll start shooting Cromwell, both of Anthony's tanks, mm -hmm. and yep. then my yep. Panzer Four will yep. fire. Yep, with shooting. So in the shooting step, it goes. With initiative, but it goes from high to low. Exactly. So in this case, not only does a Cromwell get to have a more advanced position, but gets to fire first, potentially doing damage on its opponents that they can't respond to. Correct. Exactly that. And uh, with that, we're pretty much good to go. But let's take a look at an example card first. Let's take a look at the Panzer Force card. All right. So at the top left, we have firepower. So this is how many dice you roll um, when attacking an opponent. Um, it will vary from tank to tank. For the tanks we're using here, it is all four, so you f use four dice, looking for hit or critical hit symbols. In the bottom left, we have survivability. That's your tank's base defense. 
So think of it as your tank's base armor. Um, as your tank moves and as enemy tanks move or reach cover, this will increase, um, making it harder to be hit. But as you are moving more, it is going to be harder for you to hit your opponents. Uh, the bottom here, we have hit points. That's how many wounds your tank can take. Once you hit zero wounds, your tank is destroyed. Again, it can vary from tank to tank. In the top right, we have mobility. So that's how many times your tank can move. So tanks use a movement arrow. So the Panzer IV here can make up to two moves during its movement step. Um, you don't have to move a full distance, but it does give you some advantage here. And the bottom right is that initiative step we talked about. So with the Panzer IV being initiative five in this demo here, it will move first and it will end up shooting last. So two other things we have on the tanks, or actually three I should say. So one, for those of you who are fans of the computer game, we do tanks by tier. So if you want to um, collect tanks at certain tiers, you can do that. The Panzer IV here is a tier five. Um, also with this being a miniatures game, we have a point system. So up in the upper right with the little, looks like uh, stacks of coins, that is the points of the tank. So the Panzer IV is worth 35 points. Again, when you build your force, you can customize, take different tanks and upgrade equipments that we might show in later games. And then down here are your crew slots. So some of the equipment you can take goes on specific crews, such as gunners or drivers. And so those cards have to go into those slots. Yeah, and for this uh, learn to play here again, we're not using any upgrade cards or any crew cards. We're just gonna keep it the tanks themselves. With all that said and done, we're ready to start this game out to the first round here. I have to move this little uh, Panzer IV first. Now, obviously, being tank game, ranges will not matter on a three foot by three foot table as we are knife fighting technically uh, when it comes to tanks in this close proximity. Now, looking at the card earlier, we've seen that the Panzer has a mo mobility of two. That means you take this arrow and you kind of figure out where you want to line up. You're gonna want, the tank is gonna end up lining up on the edge of the arrow there where that lines up. You don't, so you don't go to the end of it, you go to that little, um, the right corner there. Yep. I want to hide in woods, so we're gonna move. Bloop. So we're gonna move the Panzer one, and it can move two times. Mm -hmm. So we are probably gonna move him again in this direction, and we're just gonna go right to the edge of the woods. And you're gonna put a little track mo uh, track token on him, and it's, that notifies everyone how many times it has moved. That is both for offensive and defensive mechanics. Mm -hmm. And after that, we are gonna move either the T-34 or the Sherman. What do you think it's gonna be? Go ahead and move the T-34. The T-34, who yep. has a movement of three. Yep, so I'm gonna move ahead, go one, two, and move it flush up against the arrow here. You're not gonna break it, you're just gonna hang it out? I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna leave that, uh, leave that wall there, so. Perfect, and then we move on to the Sherman. Right. Sherman's gonna move into the woods. Yep, so Sherman's gonna go one, and I will move it a little bit further. Now, you do not have to move the full arrow, so I'm just gonna go a little bit more so that I'm just sticking out slightly from the woods. Right from the woods there, okay. We're gonna see how these tanks can tango as my poor Panzer's got two lined up on him, but we're gonna try and get some support from a Cromwell here. I think, weirdly enough, the Cromwell's just gonna stand still because he's got the turret, so uh, tanks have turrets. They fire 360 degrees if they want to. Opting to not move. We don't take any negatives or bonuses to that, so we're just gonna fire him right away into the T-34 here. Now, he did move three times, so we're gonna show you how this works. Now, we're about to fire the Cromwell here. Looking at the firepower on the top left there, that is four dice. Now, on top of that, medium tanks have the capability of always rerolling a blank facing on a die. However, if a tank does not move at all, it gets to reroll all of the uh, blank facings, not just one. Cromwell's gonna mm -hmm. get four dice to roll. Mm -hmm. It's got, it's got di different symbols. That means that that's a hit, that is a miss, and this World of Tanks symbol will be a critical hit. Mm -hmm. uh, critical hits can vary. They can be very good, they can be very bad. If you choose to take them, they can cripple the... Uh, Do things such as knock out your correct. tank's engine, reducing its speed. Uh, you can blind the tank, which reduces its initiative. Um, one of my favorites is an ammo destroyed, which uh, does three damage, and if you have any ammo upgrades, it will do an additional one point per upgrade. Exactly. But also has a chance of doing no damage, because it, it, might, does. Just, it yes. might just hit a system. Yep. Mm -hmm. Whereas these do guaranteed damage. So guaranteed it's like, one damage with a hit. So you always have to kind of make that distinction there. So because I'm firing at you, you'll have, well, I guess I roll mine first. Yep, you roll attack dice first. And so I got my four dice, and I get to roll blanks. I got one hit, hit. but I didn't move, so I'm a little more accurate. So I got three, three hits. hits on the T-34. Um, after attack dice have been generated by the attacker, you start with uh, defense dice. So you always start with your survivability. In this case, it's one for the T-34. Um, then you will add your speed, which in this case here is three, noted by the, the speed marker next to the T-34. 
And then you'll add your opponent's um, speed, which in this case will be zero because the Cromwell did not move. Okay, three yep. hits, yep. speed three, which will add three to your defense one. So you're, you're rolling four dice. Four dice for defense. However, the additional thing is we have a wall here. So the wall's heavy rule called hold down, which means that this wall will provide cover, which will add another dice, and it will also absorb one of these hits automatically. Right, so the wall is now gone. Mm -hmm. And then you roll five dice. Yep. And you're looking to at least get two I successes. Need, yes, I need uh, symbols, either hits or critical hits to cancel those. And you're good. Yep. So no damage, the armor and the wall protects. And then that's it. That's my high initial shots. Now we have to resolve the shots on the T-34 and the Sherman. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. So I'm going to start with the T-34. T-34 is going to fire back at the Cromwell. So um, just like the Cromwell, it has firepower four. So I'll roll four dice. Um, and because I move, I don't get to reroll all my attack dice, only one for being a medium tank. Oh, one so reroll. I got a hit and a crit, but I get a reroll. And I got another hit. Nice. The survivability of Cromwell is one, but you did move three. So I'm going to add three to my defense there. Mm -hmm. And I get no hold down. So I'm just looking yep. to cancel three of these. I cancel two of them. Right. So Luca has gotten two hits. So with that, I can elect to use my critical to cancel those to let a hit go through. But in this case, I am going to allow him to cancel those hits and have a critical go through and take a risk. This is the critical effects deck. As you can see, there's quite a bit of options here. We shuffle it up. Let's see what the top card there is. Yep, yep. so whenever a critical goes through, you re reveal a critical card deck. Zero damage, but bailed out. I cannot move or shoot. We're done for. Get out, but it is repairable. Yep. All right, so with this critical card, um, obviously, as the text says, it will uh, this tank cannot move or shoot. Um, it doesn't do any damage, so whenever critical cards are drawn, they always do the damage that is on the card. So in this case, it's zero. Uh, if a card have, would, for instance, have one or two, that's how much damage would be applied on the tank. But it is repairable, which in the next step, um, Luca can attempt to repair and remove this effect. And after that, initiative says that the Sherman fires. Yep. And we're going to fire probably on my T-34. Mm -hmm. Oh, my uh, Panzer IV. Yep. All right. So just like the T-34, the Sherman moved. So I will be able to reroll one of my blanks. Which will help here. Yep. So I got a critical hit and a hit. And another blank. So only those two dice are going through. I have one survivability. Uh, you moved two. So I'll gain two, two. extra ones yep. for that. I do get hull down because that is in the way for protecting all yep. my points. So you get a cover for that. I got a cover for that. And then I also moved two. Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm at six defense dice, which is coincidentally the most you could ever possibly roll. And then this will get destroyed and cancel that one hit. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking to roll one success here. <laughs> oh no! And it's a critical oh, two. Oh no! Hey, that happens. Oh. Oh. That's wild. Oh. Critical effect? Well, that's just a lucky hit. It'll do two damage instead of one. And here we have my tank cards. I'm just going to go ahead and put two damage on him. He's got hit points of four, so he's only got two hits remaining. I'm going to go with my T-34. I am just going to take shots at your... Sorry, my Panzer IV is going to fire at your T-34. Uh, we're going to try this out. So I get four shots mm -hmm. myself. And because I'm in the woods, and just double checking, there would be no cover for the T-34 because I'm in the woods. The way it works is you have to draw a line to three at least three of the corners of it without it going through like a building or through the woods or anything like that. So we're hoping to get some big rolls here. I got a hit and a crit, crit. And I do get to reroll one because I'm a medium tank, which didn't help. All right, so here I'll generate uh, my defense dice for that. So I start with my survivability, which is one. I'll add my movement, which is three. And then I'll add Luca's movement, which is two, giving me a total of six dice to the max I can roll for defense. <laughs> I only got two. So we're going to go ahead and roll. So we get lucky here. And I, uh, yeah, I'd say I'm pretty lucky. So that will cancel all of the damage coming in. No damage at all. Now it happens. All right, so now we finish the shooting step. So now we go into the command phase. So in this case here, we are going to, uh, Luca will actually roll for his tank because he has a repairable uh, damage card on it. To, I pretty much roll. I'm looking for a symbol, a hit, or the rotor tank symbol for a crit to fix my, to get back in the tank. Yep, and you are successful, so that yeah. damage card is now removed. Nice, so they get back into the tank. Now we remove our speed tokens and we start a new round where we just go through the same initiative as the T 34 when we first. Panzer IV. Sorry, <laughs> Panzer IV? Wow, I literally just played a game of uh, Flames of War as well where I played with my Panzer IVs. Okay, well, Panzer IV will move first. Back up the PZ4. We're gonna go. We're gonna keep it at speed one. Little we'll track marker mm -hmm. on, and we have to see how Anthony's tanks are gonna move. We are gonna scoot behind that building over there. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go one. 
and go two to here. That works. Then and I'm gonna move forward. Yep. Yeah, that way. And go here and turn. I want to get line of sight to that guy there. It's gonna be kind of tough though, so I have to move essentially sideways twice. So first one, go one, bloop, and then we're gonna go again. Bloop two, and then we're gonna turn. Yep. Okay. Yep. We're gonna end up there, and then he gets to fire first. Yep. So we are the only target he really has is the Sherman. We have to see what kind of cover he has. Double checking, I have those three corners without going over the ruins or the the building there, so I have clear shots. However. You're going to get a pretty good defense against this. So I get my four shots, and I get to reroll one of them. So I got two hits. Well, one, one hit, one crit. All right. So I'll have a base survivability of one. I'll add two for my movement and two for Luca's movement. So for five dice. We're going to stop two of my hits here. And, and oh, oh I, bought, I bounced one. I'll let the crit go through, I guess. Right. It worked out because it equated to a lucky hit. Let's have the Cromwell. Now we have to survive the Sherman and the T-34. Who's going first? Uh, I'll start with the T-34 first. E34 into my poor Panzer IV, who's a little hurt right now. Yep. So I roll four dice. And you get one reroll. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, nope. three hits. Two so hits two, and a crit. Two and a crit. But after everything you said and done, I'll have five dice for defense. I'm looking mm -hmm. to stop three of these. I stopped two, two. of them. Yep. So Anthony gets to decide what he wants to sneak through. Yep. So with this case here, I am going to use this here. Actually. And because I rolled a critical defense, I get to choose what to cancel with that. So I'm gonna to choose to cancel the crit, mm -hmm. and then a hit will cancel a hit. So I just got one hit on me. Yeah. When it comes to criticals, the defender always gets to choose mm -hmm. how those resolve. So if I rolled all critical defenses, then I could have chosen mm -hmm. all of them. Yeah. But in this case, I wanted to keep him with one health left alive. That way the Sherman, who is gonna fire next, has to decide if he wants to go into the Cromwell or my T-34 before the, or my PZ-4 before it fires. What's it gonna be with the Sherman? I think I'm gonna go, I, I have to here. I think I'm gonna to try to go for that Panzer IV and knock he's, it out. He's got so. one hit left in him. Yep. So see what he can do. Uh, you gotta reroll if you need to. That's two yeah. hits. Two hits and... Ooh, two, two hits, hits and a critical. And, a crit. and best of luck to the... Ooh, okay, that's not good, he's dead. Uh, I guess uh, I'm comparing our saves here. I would cancel a hit and then then you would, it's kind of up to you to what, yep. what gets canceled. Yep. So I want to hope that your critical does no damage. So you'd probably just keep the damage, I, yep. I assume. Yeah, I'll yeah. just keep the damage going through. Which does take out my Panzer IV. Four. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so now what happens? All right. Yep. So I, with that roll, I inflicted one more damage on the Panzer IV. That will put it at four damage, so it's destroyed. Um, now, because the Sherman is initiative six, this has happened before the Panzer IV can react with initiative five. So it is actually destroyed and can no longer react. Basically becomes a little building. He's a little piece of uh, debris now. So he can provide cover, can't be moved through, can't be shot through, things like that. So he, I could maybe utilize him later, but for now he is dead as dead can be. With that all said and done, we go to the command phase. Nothing's, we don't need to repair anything, so we're, on, we're able to go to the third battle round here and uh, see if this Cromwell can uh, stand Hold alone. Let's wait. And with my Panzer down, movement and initiative go to you, sir. What would you like to do first? Uh, I will advance my T-34 first, so... Aggro time. Yep, so you're gonna go one, two, and go three to there. Oh boy. And the Sherman's gonna do the Sherman's same. Sherman's gonna advance, going in for the kill. This guy's gonna be bold. He's gonna stay still. And he gets to shoot first. That means he gets full rerolls. He's gonna try and take out that Sherman before it can fire. Mm -hmm. Good luck, little Cromwell. Oh, three crits, oh, sure. Gosh. That's pretty gangster. All right, there we go. Three crits. You only get three dice defense wise. Three dice, so I have to get a symbol on all of these to cancel the damage. Oh, oh, got two, so one, one will through. go through. But it has to be critical, which it I don't It has love. to be a critical, yep. This kind of works in my favor because he can't shoot this turn, so he's bailed out. However, zero damage. That means we it won't be firing this turn, but we do have the T-34. We could do some damage to him. Okay, and then uh, on to the T-34. I get no cover here. I'm just hoping for the best. The way it is in my front arc because the arcs are uh, 180 degrees forward. You have to be over here to hit the flank. Yep. So roll four dice for firepower. I got a hit. Uh, medium tank, so I get to reroll a blank. Two, two hits. hits. All right, and I'll get four defense dice because movement three on the T34. Looking for two successes here. Oh, oh, I'm gonna take a hit. One damage on the Cromwell, but it does have five hits, so you can take four more hits. So we're pretty even on that one. And then, like I said earlier, he goes to fire. Now we're in the command phase where you can try and repair that Bailos. Yep. So we're looking for a symbol. Need a symbol. Oh, he's back it. in the fight. Very good. And 
Anthony in the tanks so are gonna keep enclosing on the Cromwell. Uh, he does get to move last. We're gonna see where the uh, these two tanks end up. All right, so move twice and turned, and then move twice and face that direction. The Cromwell gets to move and fire first. Ooh, we are going to move one that way, which will be we're gonna move one more time backwards. That way we're protected from the Sherman. Yep and we could shoot at the T-34. But it'd be moved too, so the defenses are a little wonky on that mm -hmm. one. But he does get to fire first, so boom, 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 boom. Yep. I shoot four. I get one reroll. Roll. I sh only hit two. Defense six, so it's so like I have six defense dice here, total. Oh yeah, you stop And it. I block it. You shoot me right back. Yep. Dice, four dice with the T-34 shooting at Lucas Cromwell. And one reroll. And a reroll. Uh, hit. Oh, yeah, this six. is where... Hey! You're good. <laughs> I had to keep dancing around. Yeah. This is me dancing around a building. You get to move the, the, the initiative mechanic on the Cromwell, very powerful here. I have to see where both these tanks go before I commit to a move. So the Sherman moved two, destroyed this by rolling over it, and then the T-34 only moved one. So we're gonna, we're gonna move to about here, and then we're gonna turn, and then we're gonna move to about here, and then we're gonna turn. Movement two over there. The problem is we're both flanking each other now, but I get to shoot first. Mm -hmm. And I get a reroll because I'm a medium sized tank. Ooh. Three hits is not bad. I'm going to show off a new, me new mechanic because we are both within a ra the uh, movement hurt. range band of each other, which means we get to reduce defense dice from the opponent. We're also flanking each other, so we reduce further dice from the defense pool. Yep. If anyone's curious, yep. like the, uh, the, that would be the front. So it's, uh, yep. I got some overlapping there, and the same is true for me, mm -hmm. where his front tread is overlapping a little bit as well. Double checking on how the, the you always check the defender's arc. So. In this case, I am overlapping the defender's arc a little bit, whereas I am still kind of in the front. So I'm, I'm benefiting a little bit more from the flanking here. Yep. Uh, which means I got my three hits, and then you have... So I'll get base one for my survivability. Right. Uh, one for my movement, two for Luca's movement. However, I'm going to lose one for close range and one for being flanked. So no matter what, I'm getting hit in here. Okay. Yeah, something will go through. Interesting. And oh. it will all go through on okay. the T-34. All three hits will go through, but only two of them are hits for damage. One's a critical. So one damage and its track is destroyed, so it can't move. It's got one hit remaining. Mm -hmm. Now the the T-34 fires back. Nice. Any rerolls? Oh, yeah. that's dangerous. Four hits, Ooh. love it. Well, in total, I'll get three defense dice against your four hits, so no matter what, something's going through. Ooh, three Ooh. things are going through. Uh, I guess, oh gosh, I guess I'll cancel the crit. I'm afraid of the crit. Well. That's right, you're the, because I don't have a crit, yep. you, you cancel I'll this. cancel that. I get a crit and two hits, zombie. You hit hit. get another track destroyed and an additional damage. My Cromwell has one hit left on it. Two hits left on your Sherman, one hit left on the T-34, track destroyed. One hit left on my Cromwell, track destroyed. Uh, we're on to the command phase. Who repairs first? Uh, it's done by initiative. Oh, okay, fair. Yeah. It doesn't matter too, too, too much. I'll see if I fix mine. I am immobile this turn, that's so, bad. How about you? And T-34. Also stuck. <laughs> We're both stuck. That's probably the end of the Cromwell. Who at least get to fire first? Yeah. One, one last hurrah before it's all over. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> let's see where that Sherman goes then. Yeah, the Sherman's gonna move. Back it up, turn. Yep. And then I'll have cover there probably. But if you want to, I guess if you move again, I'll get another cover. Yeah. Just... I'm gonna go go for it. And go to my flank. Beautiful. I, I get to reroll all my hit rolls, but the problem is I can go for the Sherman. They're both like within killing range. He actually only has one hit left. He's a little bit easier to kill. Uh, and the Sherman has extra defenses on him right now. This guy gets to reroll all hit rolls. So I think I want to go for the T-34. I'm going to try my best to. Let's go tank fight. I get to reroll one of them. I get three hits. Three. Interesting. Because I'm in the flank and close and there's no speed modifiers and defense can be reduced down to zero dice. He has no defense against this yeah. and he's destroyed. So that tank is destroyed. <laughs> But my Cromwell's is sitting back against the Sherman. Now I just have to hopefully whiff. <laughs> whiff. Oh, please, right. no. <laughs> right. Or do I go down? Oh, I'm going oh, down. No. I don't even think I get much defense dice here. So I get my, my one defense die plus your two speed that you moved. However, you're flanking me and, and you're close. So no matter what you three hits are going through, is it? <laughs> at least I stopped it. You can't cancel a crit though. Well, I get one crit and two hits. So the two hits will kill me. Let's see what that crit is though for dramatic effect. This one seems brutal. Two damage? And target player discards one crew card of their choice from the tank. Oh, if we had paid extra crew, I see. Well, that is the end of the Cromwell. And paired with this how to play, Josh and Anthony play a full game of World of Tanks over on our other channel, MWG Tabletop Games. It's in the link down below to redirect to it if you want to go and check that out.
the end of the Cromwell and two remaining hits on the Sherman. Well done. The Sherman right. pulled through in the end. That was tight though. Yeah, there was a couple was tight, tight games. And then that's, this is just a demo of World of Tanks. As you can see, there's a lot to it. Medium tanks get rerolls. Faster tanks get other benefits. The heavy tanks, like I was looking at the Tiger yeah. earlier, has a rule called Fortress. It can never be flanked, mm -hmm. essentially. Yeah. And what points level is this normally played at? So a standard size uh, game is about 200 points. So typically that's going to be three to five tanks. Uh, plus or minus any upgrade cards you take with your crew or equipment. Um, you can run a horde of little light tanks if you want to, or if you want to have very few elite tanks, you can do that as well. Um, I did also want to say in the starter set, the tanks themselves, unlike our games like Flames of War and Team Yankee, the tanks are already assembled and they're already pre-primed. So you can go ahead and play them right out of the box, no issue. Um, same with all the other tank expansions that come with the game. Um, and um, with them already primed, you can paint them on any colors that you want. So you can go more historical, like the ones we have here, or you can go wacky and crazy as well. Just like the video game, mm -hmm. essentially. That's what, that's what the whole idea here is. And to give you guys an idea, Anthony mentioned 200 points. We're only playing about like 75, 80 points per side here. So this is only a fraction of what you would normally see. So consider that with all the initiatives, all tanks of different initiatives, it can get really convoluted in a good way. And uh, you can have a lot of fun with this game. And you can crank out a lot of these games really quickly. And then if you really wanted to, you can bump it up even higher than that. But 200 is probably like the good place to play at. Uh, it depends on how you want to play at home. So check it out. All the information is in the description down below. Thank you, Anthony, for demoing this game with me. It was fascinating well, very reminiscent of some right uh, yeah it was a pleasure it was a good quick little bit of fun and uh hopefully we can get some more videos out for you absolutely with that everyone we'll talk to you next time yeah and take care happy wargaming